Unified British heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua is set to face Michael Hunter in place of Jarrell Big Baby Miller, who failed the VADA test. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So Unified British Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua is set to face Michael Hunter as his original opponent, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, has failed the VADA test, and New York State Boxing Commission will no longer grant him uh, a license to fight in New York as Anthony Joshua makes his state uh, debut June 1st at Madison Square Garden in New York. Uh, so with that said, Anthony Joshua was looking for a replacement opponent. Uh, it was a lot of rumors, a lot of names floating around, but um, seems like uh, uh, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn have landed on Michael Hunter. Uh, Michael Hunter uh, is a former cruiserweight uh, fighter. He stands at six foot two. You know, um, uh, he has a 79 and a half arm reach. Uh, he's 16 and one with 11 knockouts. He lost to Oleksandr Usyk uh, by unanimous decision victory. Uh, so this is what you're going to get. Uh, Anthony Joshua versus Michael Hunter. Michael Hunter doesn't stand a chance. No disrespect to Michael Hunter. Uh, but the bottom line is Michael Hunter doesn't stand a chance in this fight. Michael Hunter doesn't um, have the tools to beat an Anthony Joshua. It's going to be an uh, um, opportunity of a lifetime for Michael Hunter. But unfortunately, he's up against uh, he's up against it. Michael Hunter will not be able to withstand the onslaught from Anthony Joshua. Michael Hunter will not be able to outbox my Anthony Joshua. Michael Hunter doesn't have more power than Anthony Joshua. Michael Hunter is at a disadvantage through and through in this fight. Uh, but to Anthony Joshua's uh, defense, this is not Anthony Joshua's fault 100%. The reason why I say it's not his fault 100% because I got to place some of the blame on Anthony Joshua due to the fact that everybody in the boxing world was calling for Anthony Joshua to face Luis King Kong Ortiz, uh, once beaten Cuban super south, superstar southpaw boxer. Uh, his only loss coming at the hands of undefeated WBC uh, heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. <clears throat> and with that said, you know, um, the world was calling for <clears throat> Anthony Joshua, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. The world was calling for Anthony Joshua to face Luis King Kong Ortiz, and Anthony Joshua was in negotiations with a uh, British heavyweight contender who he already beat uh, in Dillian the Body Snatcher White. Those uh, negotiations fell through uh, as Anthony Joshua um, was, um, Dillian White, should I say, was the, the front runner to face Anthony Joshua, but uh, that fell through. After that, Anthony Joshua was still seeking for an opponent. He had the opportunity to face Luis King Kong Ortiz or Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Uh, Luis King Kong Ortiz is more established with more um, uh, uh, um, history. Uh, he has more um, experience and he's looked at as the top four heavyweight in the world. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are top three, whatever order you choose to put him in. And then most people would say Luis King Kong Ortiz is number four. Some people would say Dylan White is number four. But the mass majority of the boxing world would, would say that Luis Ortiz is number four. And with that said, he had the opportunity to face Ortiz. Jarrell Big Baby Miller is an American undefeated heavyweight contender. Uh, he hadn't had a lucrative fight. He hadn't had a step up fight. He hadn't had a big, big name on his resume. So he was looked at as a contender, relatively unknown in the uh, um, uh, upper echelon of the heavyweight division of what he can do. Not that he's not known to the boxing world, but it's not known what is he capable of, right? And so with that said, Anthony Joshua chose the route of going to face Jarrell Big Baby Miller here in the States to make his state's debut against a guy from New York, Brooklyn, New York, at Madison Square Garden. So I understand the reasoning that they chose Big Baby Miller, but all in all, Anthony Joshua should have went with Luis King Kong Ortiz to begin with. Uh, with that said, he chose to go Miller. And uh, so I have to blame him for part of this. 
because if he didn't chose Miller, if he chose Luis King Kong Ortiz, who failed the test himself, but if he chose Ortiz, then we most likely wouldn't be in the scenario that we're in where Anthony Joshua scrambling to get an opponent with only five weeks left before his big fight. But with that said, he's going to face Michael Hunter. As they, uh, they're claiming, Eddie Hearn is claiming that Luis Ortiz said that they didn't have enough time. Luis King Kong Ortiz and his team is saying that they never got an offer. So uh, it's, they're playing the blame game. He says, she said. Uh, with that said, I know Luis Ortiz's team said that they never received the contract. And they asked just to re, uh, if they're going to replace Jarrell Big Baby Miller to let him uh, step in to exact numbers. So he wanted to earn the same amount Jarrell Big Baby Miller was going to earn, which was 6'5". So he wanted the 6'5", and he'll step in and replace him, especially on short notice. But uh, they're claiming that they never got an offer. You know, um, so I don't know what to believe at this point in time. It's a he say, she say game. Eddie Hearn is saying that they said they wasn't ready. So on and so forth. With that said, we're going to see Michael Hunter step in and replace him. Michael Hunter just recently signed to uh, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, and his own. So, um, yeah, it's looking like all signs are pointing to Anthony Joshua facing Michael Hunter. So Michael Hunter had a few things to say. He says he's excited about the opportunity to face Anthony Joshua. He knows he's great, so on and so forth. Uh, with that said, uh, like I stated before, I don't give Michael Hunter much of a chance to win this fight against Anthony Joshua, if any, at all. Uh, he lost to Oleksandr Usyk. Uh, he got outclassed by Oleksandr Usyk, and I don't think that Oleksandr Usyk can beat Anthony Joshua either. You, got, you guys hear me say numerous of times over that uh, Oleksandr Usyk is going to get cla outclassed and knocked out by Anthony Joshua. He's been rumored and linked to Anthony Joshua should Joshua got, have gotten past Jarrell Big Baby Miller. But with that said, we obviously know that Jarrell Big Baby Miller won't be participating as he failed his fourth drug test. Now, reported fourth. So with that said, uh, people were saying that if he didn't, Joshua, he being Joshua, if he didn't land the Deontay Wilder fight after this fight, June 1st, that all signs are pointing to Anthony Joshua have to defend his WBO against um, Oleksandr Usyk should Oleksandr Usyk be successful um, against Carlos Tackham May 25th at the MGM Harbor in uh, Maryland area. Uh, so if he uh, wins that fight, that being Usyk, he will become the WBO mandatory for Anthony Joshua's belt. So uh, he's being linked to Anthony Joshua with that said. I don't think uh, Oleksandr Uzik stands a chance of beating Anthony Joshua. And so with that said, I know the triangle, triangle theory doesn't work in the sport of boxing, but sometimes it's just a, a, a sneak peek into what is uh, is to come. And uh, uh, um, Oleksandr Uzik completely outclassed Michael Hunter. And with that said, I think that Anthony Joshua is going to completely outclass Oleksandr Uzik. So that kind of... Uh, gives you an idea of what I think that Michael Hunt is going to do against Anthony Joshua, right? I don't think he stands a, a, a chance, point blank and period. But that's all I got for y'all. Michael Hunter, 16 and 1, will be stepping in to replace Jarrell Big Baby Miller June 1st at Madison Square Garden. That's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Michael Hunter, 16 and 1, will be stepping in for Jarrell Big Baby Miller as a replacement June 1st to face a unified uh, British heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports TV, baby, from the